hi guys welcome back to my channel it is mrs style back again so on my last video i went through the sabs and the like a billy share scheme i gave a good background of the shares the first scheme and the second scheme i also went through some of the options that are available for us where we can go and buy the shares so i mentioned computer share and i also mentioned the big four banks plus investec i did say at the end of the video that i would come back and share with you guys which platform that i personally use however i did receive a lot of requests asking me to go through computer share i also did a poll on my instagram which is mrs underscore time um where i asked which one would you guys like me to go through and most folks said i must go through the computer share option i am glad to go through the computer share option because i do believe that it does give more people an option to trade in the shares for computer share you will see that um the monthly management fee that you pay is about 135 rand every month and the minimum amount that you can buy shares for is a thousand rand so then that does give um, more people an op opportunity to actually trade in the shares which is brilliant hence yeah i did think this would be a good idea to share this platform i also received some feedback in terms of the admin process that is involved and how people just needed help with some of the forms so what i'll do today is i'll go online with you guys and i'll go through some of the forms and just speak through the process of actually applying to get registered into the trading platform so if you've never used computer share before you have to apply for your trading account to be opened and then secondly you also have to prove that you qualify for the triple bee share scheme so there is an affidavit that you need to then send back to them without wasting any time let's just get to it so then guys for this part i'd advise you to just open your browser as well just so that we can just try to do it together um so this is the website that you need to go to www.computershare.com and there you find an option for sabs and zelegabili shares and then this will be your landing page once you've clicked on sap zenzelegabili and here you'll see that it gives you steps to follow for you to register so you see it says if you're a new shareholder if you've never used this platform before to buy shares you need to first open an account at computer share so to do this you need to download the below forms and where relevant where this needs to be completed you need to complete provide the supporting documentation and return this before you can buy the shares so then you will not have any access to the platform until you do this if previously you did have access uh to the platform and you're a trader you can just trade the right share which is the sa business Zella share so assuming we're all starting let's just then follow the steps so step one step one you need to then complete those documents if you hear any noise in the background that's my baby boy okay let's continue so these are the different forms that you need to go through some need you to read and some need you to complete so let's open each of these forms together so this is the custody and settlement account fact sheet so this is a fact sheet it's supposed to be just giving you information about the account okay so you're expecting to get information so it's telling you about opening the account so this is the trading account that you need to sign an agreement with them and provide the supporting documentation you can read through the different sections um that they want you to indicate but we'll also go through those when we get there so we'll get to the actual form and see what the sections entail uh, and then what they do need from you is a certified uh, copy of your id and proof of residence so id you make a copy you go certify it at your nearest police station or post office or if you know uh, someone who doesn't use the same surname as you who's a, a commissioner of oath they can sign for you proof of residence it also needs to be certified um
and then this just gives you guidance if you have your own house you then just take a utility bill certify that if you're staying with someone else so you see which option applies to you and you make sure that you provide the right proof of residence Additionally, what they do want is your banking information. So they will require a bank statement for from you. And this needs to be one that you can get online. And it needs to have the bank state, the bank stamp, basically the name and the logo. Uh, so one that can be downloaded online from your banking app. So that's what you need certified copy of your id proof of residence and a bank stamped bank statement so when it comes to the bank statement and the proof of residence i usually just use the three months rule if it's within if it's issued within the last three months then it should do this is just for information on the dividends tax uh, that you have dividends tax of 20% when you do receive the dividends. Uh, for an account. And then they just tell you that this must be certified police station. These are the options that I just went through. And yeah, I can certify your documents for you. <laughs> Kidding, please don't send me your documents. <laughs> uh... But yeah, chartered accountants and lawyers can certify these documents for you. Okay, so this is just more information. You can have a read at that. But as I said, it is this document is for information purposes. So there's nothing that you need to sign here. Happiness? Happy. Let's go to the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions are also probably just for information. Let's have that open. So these are the standard terms and conditions for opening uh, this trading account with them. You can go through it, but as I said, it's the standard terms and conditions, but for your comfort, it's always good to have a read at those. So you read through the document and you'll see that at the end, there's nothing required to be signed from you. you see, so just information purposes. So we've already went through the first two and we happy with the content. Now we open it the custody and settlement agreement. So this is actually the form that you need to complete and send back to them together with your supporting documentation. But before we go through that form, because I want to go through it together, I just want to go to the other two documents, which really are for information. Well, the schedule fees one. So this one is important because it tells you how much you'll be paying for uh, using their services. So service and settlement fees. A lot of different fees depending on what trade you're doing, but some things really do not apply uh, for the purposes of the shares that we're talking about. But what is important to note is the fee that I was telling you about, the monthly fee. So you see there's a monthly management fee. They say it's the dealing administration fee so every month you pay an amount of 135 rand that is excluding vet obviously with vet it's going to be 155 and that's if you've purchased free um that's if you've purchased shares for uh, less than 40,000 and then if you if your investment is more than 40,000 
there will be the normal charge of 135 and an additional fee of 0.5 percent of the value of the transaction so it will be 135 and then uh, if your transaction is 50k there will be an additional fee of the value of the transaction so that will be 50k times 0.35 in addition to the 135 per month but yeah basically 135 so that's what's the most important thing here and then if you look at step two noting that we're still going to come back to the form if you look at step two it does have an affidavit that you need to complete i did touch on this affidavit earlier on and let's open it so remember this is a triple b e share scheme so they need to know that you are actually a black person who qualifies for buying those shares so you need to sign this off affidavit and it's another document that you need to be certified so in addition in addition to your id uh, proof of residence you need this to also be certified so i write your full name id id number and then here it says delete the above if not applicable so the ones with hash are these three so you must go through through them and see what's applicable to you so yeah, yeah i'm a black person as defined i am a south african by birth so i this is what is applicable to me and then the next one says not by birth by naturalization um and this was before 94 and there's a second option for naturalization anyway that's not important to me because i'm a south african by birth so this you must delete so you can take a pen cross over and then you keep this one because you're saying you have a copy of your certified id and then here you need to sign sorry so here you need to sign and you need to write your full name. So this is you. And then here it is the person who's the commissioner of old. So whoever is certifying the documents for you will have to sign here their place, their date and their designation and information. And then here they have to put that stamp. So we've went through this document. So once you have that document, Certified ID, proof of resident, and bank statement. Bank approved. Here's another uh, requirement. You need to have an income tax document reflecting your income tax number, not older than one year. So you need to go... So you need to take any document that you've received from SARS. Any document that you receive from SARS, it usually have your tax number as a reference. So you need to use this as an attachment. You cannot use your pay slip so cause it, because it says it needs to be a SARS letter. I did read somewhere that it needs to be a letter from SARS. So find that letter from SARS or call SARS and request a letter to confirm your tax number. And then once we have all those documents, including the one that we're going to go through, the form, what we need to do is send this to this email address. Or you can do the other options of posting. I would just email so that it's quicker. And then you wait for the turnaround time. Once I have your document and everything is, is in order, you get an email communication saying you can then access your trading account and all the other information that's needed. So as I said, these were listed on the 28th, but obviously you can buy them in future, sell, whenever. If you have any other questions with regard to your application, you can always call their call center or just send an email there. So happiness, so we're all comfortable with those documents, right? Uh, we're all comfortable with the rest of those documents as well. We just need to sign the form that we're going to attach to the rest of the supporting document for the email. One last form that we didn't open really, if it applies to you, it says if you stay with someone and you can't uh, provide your own proof of residence, that person probably just needs to sign, yeah, and say that and confirm that they're staying with you. You see, I further confirm that Lala resides with me, you too, yeah. So if you're staying with someone and you don't have 
any of these documents in your own name then the person needs to sign this for you and yeah as i said usually the rule is not less than three months for these supporting documentations happy stuff okay then guys this is the main form that we need to complete carefully so this is the easy stuff your personal details surname name full name previous name if you're married and you change it or whatever reason id your postal address only if your postal address is different from where you're staying email are you employed where do you work what's the address what do you do your mobile number the fun stuff that we comfortable with these are your banking details which bank do you bank with remember this is important because you're going to be transferring the money from your bank account to this platform and also they're going to be debiting that 135 rand every month and these details obviously also need to match with the bank confirmation or the bank statement that you're gonna attach to the email so branch type of account okay that information and then here in c i confirm that i'm acting so assuming that you, we're doing this ourselves you tick here i confirm that i'm not acting on anyone's behalf you're doing it for yourself but if you're getting someone to do this for you um and their financial advisor they will take care but for this purpose we're taking there and then we go to c so c is a normal stuff of in terms of communication how do you want to receive your communication so do you want to receive um financial statements you see financial statements of whatever securities that you've traded so this sap zenzele do you want to receive their financial statements yes i do no i do not uh how do you want to receive it electronic so i would say electronic and then remember i've already put uh, my email address up there so they have that information so if you remember when you open the custody and settlement fact sheet there were some uh hi hi highlighted uh sections that they wanted us to make sure we complete so see we've done this where we say it's us no one no one is acting as a nominee d we've already indicated if we want to receive the financial statements for the investment and then e it says you select the type of account you would like to open the two accounts are easy accounts which provides a low cost shared dealing routing service and the direct trade account where you would appoint your own stock broker so you most probably gonna select the easy account uh, for the low cost uh, benefit as well where they can do it on your behalf so when you come to section e here it says custody service i hereby and then you're going to select securities held on my behalf must be registered in my own name and maintained by computer share using my own name right and utilizing computer shares dealing uh deal routing service so this is the low cost one this is where by computer share uh does the stock broking for you so you just pay that 135 and this option is when you're saying uh i'm gonna have my own stock broker and elect that person and if you have your own stock broker you're gonna put their details here in f F was also highlighted here, section F. So you see, we're already done with those key sections. We just left with section F, F, and then we're good to go. So then in section F, it's speaking about having a separate uh, segregated depository account. Uh, should the account and account, and then for though for that account you'd have to go through the rules as highlighted here the straight pty rules i would just select the normal i would not like to open that and then section g you have to select one option that applies to you i do not have a text number so i'm assuming if you like me you just say i am a taxpayer 
then in section h it speaks about if you are exempt from tax uh, which is the dividends tax the standard dividends tax that applies to most of us then you must sign this form well i am not exempt and most people are not so this is probably most not applicable to you if you are exempt you will know <laughs> but section i b shareholding here it's just a request for you to sign that affidavit which we are we have went through and are happy with and then section j stamp duty reserve tax so here you're confirming that the shares that you hold will not attract the stamp duty tax which is united k relevant so here i'm happy to tick that it will not and then i'll sign here then section k so this is for due diligence just to check that the amount that you're getting it's legal and how are you going to be trading and so forth but let's go through it section k so the nature of business activity so the activity that you're doing right now it's trading are you going to trade going forward yes i know i will uh, is it a once off if you're just doing this once and you never trade again you tick here if you're saying you'll trade uh, and you're probably gonna trade for the, an amount less than fifty thousand select the second option if your amount will be more than 50k um if you're gonna buy shares for more than fifty thousand you're gonna select the third option and then here where do you get your money from the money that you use to trade i'll just select salary and then obviously if you're working other and then you say the name of your business and the other options up up there and then uh the screening declaration it's asking you if you are a prominent official public official i am not if yes but i said i'm not if yes you say are you a foreign one or local uh and then if you said no but maybe your uncle is a minister or something you have to say yes <laughs> but yeah you select yes or no and then if you said yes then you must say if that uncle who is a public official is a foreign public official or a local one local one domestic being essay so you're gonna select there so none applicable for me and then if that person then you selected you said they are let's say that uncle their public official you write their names and then here sanctions list screening so have you appeared on any sanctions for any money entertainment or terrorists no if you haven't had such an activity have you been associated associated with negative media no you haven't i haven't if yes you say yes for either of those two and then if you're a non-resident client i know i'm already a resident so this doesn't apply for me and then here i undertake i'm signing that if any of the information that are provided above changes i'll let computer share know so you select there and then here you undersign that all the information provided and you've read the entire agreement the agreement that we went through and we said you must read all those clauses but it's a standard one uh and yeah you agree to everything you sign and then here here's the one signing here so here, the signature on behalf of computer share, this is not you. And here, for internal of internal use only, this is not you. And that it is, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. You are done with your application. So we went through all of these. Then we've opened them. We've done this. We spoke through these documents. And we spoke through how when you're done, you send this. So this is where you must come to your application form. Certified copy, certified proof of resident, bank statement, and that SARS document signed here. And then you are good to go. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this was super, super helpful. Then that's it, guys. Um, we've went through the process of getting access to your trading account and everything that you need to send back to the computer share team once they receive everything and it is in order they will get back to you and open their trading account and you can start trading as i mentioned in my previous video you can trade the shed anytime so you do not have to hold it for a specific period of time and you can buy it at any other day besides the day of the listing you would have seen that it was listed on the 28th of may 
and there has been a spike already in the price it was listed at 40 rand and if you look at it today uh being the first of june it's already trading at 170. so already if someone bought that share on the 28th of may at 40 rand they've made how much profit you know uh so that's great if they decide to sell they can if they decide to hold they can so you also can still buy the share it's not late at all i hope this was helpful guys um i might just do another video just to show the trading account of the bank option um because i am also familiar with that route but yeah guys all the best and thank you for watching once more remember to subscribe if you're not part of this family yet to comment below and let me know how it's going for you and where you are in the process and to give this video some love thank you so much guys love you so much bye